I think too many people these days are too. Well, the word I'm going to use is picky, but I don't mean that. I think too. Uh, I don't. Know. Okay, yeah, just to say it's too picky. I think they're like too worried about what they're doing, they're actually doing it. They're like, oh, I need a logbook. I need to get my Rice Krispies post workout. I need to do this. I need to do that. Mate, just go to the gym, lift as heavy as you can, eat as much decent food as you can, consistently, and you will grow. I think so many people are over complicating that now, and it really annoys me. Like, oh yeah, I've got my pre workout black cocoa pops or my post workout white cocoa pops. Okay. Yeah, I, know, I know you eat cocoa pops, but the point is, is I feel like people would think about what well, they're doing too much, especially that when they're young as well. They're like, oh, I want to compete, and oh, I'm not big enough. And I think that's so what I say to everyone. I said, look, if you want to compete, you're doing now, do it this year. You know, like start a diet now and get on stage, because if you don't, you're going to get in that little cycle of oh, I'm not big enough not good enough I'll wait till next year then I'll wait till next year then next year five years down the line you've never been on stage you haven't established your name in the fitness industry at all and you're like oh, okay I'm going to get on stage now and then everyone's like oh it's a 25 year old you know it looks good but uh, it, you know I think again in this world you need to you have an established name I know it's such shit but uh, the more times you're on stage and the, the better you get in front of people that are watching it helps in terms of like trying to make money from the sport in terms of clients, coaching, sponsors. Two, obviously, then you learn how to diet. Three, when your body goes from dieting to bulking, you, without being scientific, it once you get to a lean point, next time you get lean, it's easier to get there and more. So every year I, I diet for a show, and next year I'll be leaner, pretty much, you know, as long as I do everything right. Just because your body has been there before, so it's oh, okay. I can do this. That's where when you take it to the next level, it's always harder, you know. Um, so yeah, that do do a show if you want to compete. Do it now. Don't wait till ten years time. Eat as much food as you can consistently. Train hard. Um, I'm, I've never logbooked anything in my life, man. I, I, you do, don't you? Do you? Log-book? Yeah, yeah, I do quite a lot. I think. I think it's just me being maybe a meathead or whatever, but I don't really think it's needed, especially especially when you're young. Maybe you do, but I don't think it would have benefited me, to be honest, because I was always very trained as hard as I can for as long as I can. I don't think that my sets that I owe, you know, I do like five, six, seven sets, where some people do like two sets. I don't think they're wasted sets because they're either like warm-ups just making me ready or they're sets where I work really hard and I'm definitely accruing some muscle tissue growth, you know. Um, but obviously everyone looks in terms of training in a different way. I just, I was never really a big fan of that kind of Dorian Yates kind of training style. Even when, um, you, were, when you were with Ben, were you were you logging and writing stuff down or not? No, not really. Not in terms of weights. I think, again, I think you get too, um, too glued on the numbers. And like if next week you're not performing as well and more, especially for me like you know like not being the most mentally stable when, when if you're like oh there's 50 kilos last week and I did everything perfect all week but I needed 40 kilos this week you know I think it's just a bit too much you know if you have a rough idea of where you're at I think I think that's the best way to do it um, obviously other people have different opinions but I mean I've gained 75 kilos of muscle from when I started to last year on stage and that's like with glutes to with glutes. So it's definitely 70 kilos of muscle. That's doubled my body weight. My first stage weight was 69 kilos. That was 140 something last year. So I gained a lot of muscle. It's quite an incredible feat to be honest. But obviously I really give myself the pat on the back that I would if it was someone else, you know. Well, if he's like, I can't see you, I thought, wow, that's cool. But I'm like, yeah, it's all right, I guess. <laughs> That's um, that's one of the things I was going to ask is you mentioned about competing as soon as possible because like, I've seen the photos from your first show and what was your body weight then? Yeah, 69 kilos. Oh, yeah. I wasn't the best, was I? Um, um, but, but, but that I shows how, how far you can go. This is it. Yeah, but that, that shows how far you can go. Um, 
one other interesting thing you talk about earlier, I mentioned about the butterfly effect. So you mentioned that obviously you got into bodybuilding because there was a gym next to the garage you worked in. So for example, imagine if that gym wasn't there, we wouldn't be having this conversation and you probably never got into it anyway. Yeah, man, absolutely. I mean, I, when I was at school, I started training at the school gym with two of my friends, but I was too scared to go. So I went with them. We all went. They left and went back. I haven't left since. But I did have to get a note from mom and dad to say that I could train because you're not allowed to use weights until you're 16. So I had this note saying, please let my son use the weights. And yeah, it happens, it's our fault. Um, so I started doing some weight training there. Or some way got a bit skinny, but then I was like really embarrassed. I was like, oh, look, 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 really bad now. So then that was when I went to Nissan and I went next door to the bodybuilding gym. But yeah, if I hadn't gone in there and he hadn't done what he did, I don't think I'd be here now, to be honest. Um, so I do owe a lot to him and I don't talk to him anymore, which is a shame because I am that sort of loyal person, but people will just go different ways, roads in their life, don't they? 